This is everything I ate in New Orleans, specifically the French Quarter in eight hours. First stop was the Central Grocery where it's the home of the original Mufuleta. It's a huge Italian sandwich. I had planned to go to Cafe Du Monde, but the line was too long and I couldn't waste the little time I had in New Orleans waiting in line. So I googled for a place that had beignets that wasn't too far away and had great reviews. It was at Loretta's in the French Market. I had one of their pralines and their traditional beignets. Then I went to Felix's Oyster Restaurant and had their Pim's Cup and charbroiled oysters. For the next stop, I went to check out the carousel bar where they have a rotating bar, but it was too crowded so I went to Mr. B's Bistro. Their gumbo was highly recommended, and for dessert I had the bread pudding which I've still been dreaming about. Walking down Bourbon Street, I was tempted to get a hot dog, but I slipped into the old absinthe bar and found out I don't really like absinthe because it tastes like black licorice. Back down Bourbon Street, I wasn't really sure what I wanted until I saw Cafe Beignet. I didn't want to leave the city without having a Cafe au lait. While waiting in line, I was looking at their beignets, and as much as I wanted one, I need to save my stomach for more food. I have to admit, I was really close to ordering the chocolate once. I had my coffee, jazz on one side, and the street on the other side. It was quite the experience. Then I went to go check out Killer Po Boys. But the location I went to was already closed, so I went to their other one. It was in the back of this bar. I got their seared shrimp po boy with a bag of spicy Cajun craw taters. After that, I just walked around for a while for the sights and sounds. I was staying at a hotel in the quarter, and then the next morning, I was out. Although it was a quick trip, I'm happy I got the experience at the beautiful French Quarter.